now to start! Yay! Yay! Today we have the amazing, amazing oh. Jason Rosal. Ah, uh, this guy's from the best. Caliente you. Fitness. Yeah, yes. Jason Rosal. Ah, uh, this guy's from the best. Caliente you. Fitness. Yeah, yes. Sex. Many things. Yes. And now. You have a very interesting story because you came out here as an actor and you weren't always so fit. That's absolutely right. <laughs> I was the opposite. You look uh -huh. like me. I was, yeah, about, <laughs> just a, a, a little shorter, just a, a rounder, uh, what I call in España, we say una pelota gorda, a fat ball. Okay. Uh, you know, they, my nickname was Weeble Wobble. Because oh, wow. I, I used to you never fall down, oh. but I was big. I was 225 pounds, wow. full of stretch marks, size 40 waist depressed, unhappy, and uh, that was my life for 20 plus years. What was the one moment that you said, that's it? The one moment um, at my heaviest weight, 225, three o'clock in the morning, I was uh, partying mm -hmm. all the time and uh, eating Oreo cookies. And I was essentially- I love Oreo cookies. I, I love the best. Oh, I love, I love it. it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But I was one, watching one of those Jake the, you know, Jake the Body uh, infomercials. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah. I was like, oh, what's this? Eating Oreo cookies. I'm high. Were you I'm dipping them in uh, milk? Oh, <laughs> mi oh yeah, yeah. The, the fat-free milk so I wouldn't feel guilty. Okay. <laughs> right? Oh, right? So that's my, you know. So, so what made you make that that change? Like what helped really helped you? Because I've been on so many crash diets where I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be healthy. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, okay, I forget this. I would say that night where I went to eat more cookies and one of them dropped. And I looked left and right, couldn't find it, put the light <laughs> on, and it was on top of my fat stomach. That was the day I said, wow. I cannot live like this any longer. Okay. So when did this all happen for you? Was this when you were in New York? Were you in LA? Was this before acting? And, and this, I know you started in a bunch of reality yes. shows too. This is uh, four years prior to like doing acting, uh -huh. doing reality television. And I just wasn't happy with myself. Uh -huh. But the change didn't really get kick in until I wanted to change for myself. You can have all the people in the world tell you, hey, you need to look different, you need to be different, but you gotta do it for you. Uh -huh. And essentially, that's how I got my mind right first. Then I got my body tight, which is what my company stands for, mind right, body tight. So how did you get your mind right? Because that's like, I feel like that's even harder. Mind over body, yeah. right? How did, how did I that? get it? By simply trying everything I could under the, under the sun. Uh -huh. Different diets, they failed. Different workouts, they failed. I developed a system that worked for me. Uh -huh. I, being from, you know, Spain, I love music, I love culture, and I love food, <laughs> all right? So I figured, I took my passions and I said, how can I make this all work for me? And I created different fun dance workouts. Eventually, Were I- Were you always a dancer or- No, this, I was- Because was I, I, was, was, I saw some of your, I, yeah. I, I watched some of your videos before. <laughs> yeah. I basically, I was getting bored. I get bored very easily, right? And I was like, what can I do that's not, that's gonna stimulate my mind so I don't think I'm working out. Yeah, that's how much right? my problem. Yeah. And then and that's what happened. I, I develop fun music workout programs because I also sing, I perform, I do a oh. lot. Oh. And then I started losing the weight little by little. 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 50 pounds. I dropped 75 pounds. Wow. See, wow. There, see, here's the thing. There's people out there that lose 100, 200 pounds. But how often do you see them with their shirt off? Not many. Yeah. Think about that. You have Jared, for example, Subway guy. Right. Right. He lost all this weight. But when people say, how have you been on over 40 covers of magazines without surgery? I'm like, dude, I am still not perfect. You never had surgery? No, I'm 100% so, natural. Good for yeah. you. Wow. I think that's the best because, you know, especially being in L.A., that's all yeah. about oh, man. surgery. The, the only way we're going to get results is by yeah. what? By staying consistent, persistent, consistent, and you get what you want. And uh -huh. this has to do, I'm talking about body. Look, people ask me, oh, you're lucky you got in your career because of your looks. Oh, let me tell you something. That's Bologna. Yeah. I was the opposite. <laughs> I was the fattest from the crowd, the shortest from the crowd. And let me tell you something, my personality and my conviction to being dedicated is what got me where I am today. So for anyone watching, how long would it take for you to really transform your body? If you go hard, if you do 12 weeks, and I have a program, it's called Mind Right, Body Tight, uh -huh. that takes you to three levels of eating right, uh -huh. training right based on your goals and genetics. What works for Brad is not gonna work for Lauren. Uh -huh. You're gonna do a totally different program than Brad. 
right? And it doesn't matter what your results are gonna be, you know what you want is totally different from you, right? Uh -huh. So to answer your question, it takes at least 12 weeks 12 to weeks. see a really awesome change. I also have programs that are as short as seven days. Uh -huh. But let me tell you something, that's not gonna last forever. So anything you want, a relationship with your boyfriend, girlfriend, your body, don't just do it for instant gratification. Do it for the long haul. Right. Uh -huh. That's it. That's hard. It's, you know? it's just That's hard. Yeah, it is. Let me, yeah. let me ask you another question. Yeah, right, you right. know, I host a lot of people. Do, yeah. Are you single? Are you single? Are you married? To... So, yeah, we're both single. Single, single. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But, but sometimes we have to, and you said how, it's interesting, she said, it's hard. Yeah. It is hard. Yeah. You know, and sometimes I like chocolate. I like to eat like uh, uh, yeah. pizza at night, like yeah, yeah, pizza sure. at McDonald's. Right. Well, right. Like, how do you just yeah. be like, okay, I'm not it's, gonna do this? You can I'm cheat, gonna... right? You can cheat a little oh, bit. Yeah, cheat yeah. meals, absolutely, right? But how often would you want to cheat on your body or your partner, right? That's why I tell people, if you're gonna if you want to be in a relationship with me, because I'm single too, you better make sure <laughs> you can be consistent. We're gonna have days that we don't feel like eating clean, we're gonna cheat, yeah. have naughty meals, right. but the rest of the time you gotta be on it, uh -huh. right? A lot right. of times people are like, oh, I'm gonna look a certain way so I can find my right partner, right? Or have a, the best body. But then once you get it, a lot of people fail. They wanna go revert back to their old ways. Uh -huh. You can't right. find the woman of your dreams or your guy of your dreams one day because you have an act. You gotta be true to who you are. Okay. Andy, I want this guy on Ever Talk TV. This guy knows his stuff. <laughs> that's this awesome. guy's a beast. That's awesome. That's just that's, awesome, man. That's, that's great. Awesome. So any tips for people who are viewing right now yeah. on how to, you know, if they're not in LA, they're in different parts of the country, what should that what should that first step be? What does that look like? The first step to change your mind and your body is to number one, say yes, yes, I want to do this, mm -hmm. right? You can't convince someone. You have to be in a mental state of saying, I want to change. Yeah. Don't change for your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, girlfriend. Be because of you. Yeah, right. Number two, if you want to lose weight in the beginning without having to work out, I'm going to give you the simplest recipe. Every morning, have a glass of lemon water, ideally warm or really warm. That aids with digestion, naturally speeds up your metabolism, and most importantly, it is great for your skin. All right? And number three, I would have to say, make sure you're eating at least four to five times a day. I like so, the lifestyle, yeah, don't that's you like? Amazing. Because it's like that's all these amazing. people say, give me two months and I'll get you. But you're like, give no, me. No, I don't want to lie to you. No, for no, what? No. That, that reflects bad on me. So do you yeah. still do reality shows? And I know you've trained some really <coughs> famous people. Yeah. Now, did you yeah. meet them? How did you get into that branding aspect of it? Like, how did you become the Instagram star that you are now? Sorry, it wasn't until. I was probably on Steve Harvey uh, in 2014 and where he kind of like took my program, made it super fun what I do, helping men and women, and later how like they've like spoofed my programs on Saturday Night Live. Oh, that's, oh, the that's ultimate. so cool. Yeah. yeah, so having all this, but then when they met me saying, wait, he's putting a show on, but this guy's actually deep. Here's what it comes down to. When you put yourself in a place, what I call power's proximity, right? I didn't get lucky because I was the tallest guy, the best looking guy, the X, Y, Z guy. I put myself in a position to meet people that I can empower, that I looked up to. These major celebrities, mm -hmm. and they took a chance, not because, like I said, my looks are X, Y, Z, my personality, I was just like shaking hands. Right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, which brings me now into branding and social media. Good segue, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> being a social media and, and branding coach to individuals and brands, the biggest thing I tell people is treat everybody on social media and online just like you do in real life. Mm -hmm. People have this stigma where, oh, I got all these likes because they like my outfit. People have this stigma because, oh, I got all these comments. Okay, that's great, but yeah. are you engaging back? <laughs> One tip about social media, because yes. you're so yeah. good at it, and you know, being an actor, being this this fitness brand that, that you are, what's if somebody's starting out their social media and they want to also be a fitness influencer or an actor, what would your or influencer? Yeah, as a whole. influencer in general. What would be your like number one tip for branding? When it comes to branding, marketing, social media, number one tip is always be yourself. Mm -hmm. Personality, personality, personality. And is that how you think you grew so big? A hundred and ten percent. Me being able to be myself and not trying to copycat what other things and other people are doing that are successful, I would have to say, and I'll tell you this firsthand because I tried to emulate what else other people were doing. Uh -huh. But then I realized and I wasn't true to myself, mm -hmm. right? right? So I would say, number one, always be yourself. Number two, treat social media and online marketing 
as you do with day-to-day -day people that you shake hands with. Okay, right? and you're if Jason Roselle you, Live I'm Jason everywhere? Roselle Live. Yeah. Everywhere? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and don't just go based on, oh, I got all these likes, I got all these comments. Communicate, engage with people, and show them that you're real and that you care. If someone took the time to like and say, wow, you look great, take the time to respond back. Mm -hmm. Because that fan that you may think may never buy into your movies, uh -huh. your shows, right. in the long term, yeah. knowing that you cared, right. will show them that they're really there. You know who does that that I know? Who? Well, right here. I try to, but well, I, well, would you stop face, with trying? My Facebook, I get ten thousand messages a week. No, sure. no, I understand, so but you, you really engage. How do you, you, yeah. how yeah. do, you do it? Yeah. You need to hire it, staff, like so I did. We work with a lot of brands and companies, which brings uh -huh. me, I guess, to the the next tip when it comes to social media marketing, branding. If you're working with brands, uh huh. Um, I always give incentives. For example, say okay. we just closed a deal with a brand that I love and believe in. A lot of times, people like yourself, they send. A lot of products to sample yeah. to see, hey, Jason, would you be interested in endorsing this? So any of my interns or my staff, I give them, you know, incentives. They uh -huh. get a percentage off of that deal. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, so it has uh -huh. to be fair. I can't expect to have someone on board yeah. that I'm only paying 14 bucks an hour. Right. But hey, if they're reaching out and brands are coming uh -huh. in and say they pay me for this, say this is a a protein bar, yeah. and I really believe it and I think it can help my audience, mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand by it. Yeah, I'm gonna put a hashtag ad, because uh -huh. legally we have to, right. to let people know I'm getting paid for this, uh -huh. but I always make sure I take care of my team, I support them, I give them incentives, and awesome. I'm, you know, that's it. You have a, you, there's one thing that you have, you're very humble. That's a big 100%. part of what, what this is all about, because when you really start believing in what people say about you and stuff, you're done, right? You're that's just a, it. Being and humble. if you don't believe in me, that's because it's a reflection on you, baby. Yeah, that's oh, it. it's nothing to do with me. It's that's, you. That's right? it. I yeah. totally agree. So yeah. your recipe book, is this the only product you're selling right now? Or is there other things that yeah. you're selling? Or uh, I, where can people find your stuff, buy your stuff? This book looks awesome. I'm thank like, Thank you so much. Protein um, chocolate strawberries. Yes, it's pretty chocolate delicious. Mousse. Oh chocolate my gosh. Mousse. Yeah. You I can eat these things and diet? Lean machine, peanut butter, and rice. I, I want to eat these things. <laughs> this is where Lauren went with the key word. She said it diet. I don't believe in diets. Who wants Ooh, to diet? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. This is it's called <laughs> Yummy Healthy Recipes. Ooh. You can get it at yummyhealthyrecipes.com. It's over 40 smoothies, snacks, and desserts. All recipes in five minutes or less. Amazing. All right. And this is for someone that w that is always busy, on the go, doesn't have much time to cook, merely even do their makeup. L like Lauren, I can see her doing like a mousse <laughs> at home, <laughs> putting on her like, mascara. hey, how you doing? <laughs> and be like, hey guys, look, I'm having a caliente uh, mousse right now. But no, to answer your question, I have uh, this book. Uh, I also have my Instagram Power Growth, which is, you know, a digital course and ebook for those looking to expand their Instagram. And, and that's me <laughs> with my, there he is. with my book. And, and uh, that's actually the, uh, Hummus avocado toast with only 315 calories. I'm so hungry right now. High in protein will get you lean and mean. Is, is grandma's recipes in there too? That's in my next book coming out. Uh, my summer. grandma's my best friend. Uh -huh. oh, that's great. Oh yeah, okay. man, that was that's right. That's well, what it's all is, about. This was amazing. It was amazing to to interview you, Jason. Where can everyone find you? Follow you? Follow you? What are your main platforms? Uh, I would have to say JasonRoselle.com. That's my website. You can find my social at Jason Roselle Live. Right in there. And, oh, yeah. you can find me on JasonRoselle.com and on social media. You can find me at Jason Roselle Live. If you want to get inspired, click on Let's Go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this awesome episode of How to Start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're going to do go, some. Let's, 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 let's end it with the workout. Let's okay. show some. What should we do? What should we do? Should, should we do a little? Okay. Yeah, this, this we're going to follow along. Are yeah. right, you ready? Yeah. yeah. All, right, All right. So one step. One, okay. one, one two, two, and three. three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, six seven, seven, eight, 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 e